In this video we're going to begin our metal project. I'm going to do that with my metal object uh, ice cream scoop jpeg picture here. And uh, basically I need to set this up just like I have in previous paintings. So let's make a new document. Make it uh, US paper. And I'm going to rotate my canvas horizontal. So it uh, ends up being the right direction. We're going to add a new layer above it. We're going to call that layer underpainting. And to make sure I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to um, work on my um, uh, layout here, have all windows floating. I'm going to shrink this one down, zoom out quite a bit. And let's see here. There we go. Put that over on the side. And then on my underpainting, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So with a regular black brush, just sent to some sensitivity of, um, uh, we'll say sensitivity for pressure transfer. And uh, I'm going to practice this ellipse here. All right. And I'm just going to move my mouse and then try and make that ellipse, right? As I do that, my ellipse is not going to be perfect. I'm going to have to go and adjust it, all right? I might have to kind of use what I naturally stroked out to see if I can make it r the right way, all right? I don't know if I'm quite fat enough. It might be too skinny. Maybe increase it a little bit over here and a little bit on the underside to make it a little fatter. All right. And I think I'm tilted too much. Maybe we'll just uh, quickly rotate that. So it's a little bit more. All right. A little better. And then I'm going to paint the bottom curve underneath. And if that's not a natural motion, I just want you to rotate your whole picture. And what you can do is rotate your whole picture and then make a more natural curve because your hand is facing upwards like a windshield wiper would. All right, and then we can reset our view. All right, so you get this in and then you end up having to uh, draw a line straight back to kind of represent this, I don't know, piece of hardware here. I guess that's part of the lever to make the ice cream release. And something about that direction. Maybe it's a little too high, I don't know. All right. And uh, then we have um, some hardware that kind of goes out and then it curls a little bit here and curls a little bit and then meets out the same direction. Um, it's got a wider end right here, wider end. And so we'll work on that. Then it goes back across and has the other end coming back up. Um, this might not be um, uh, long enough. It might be too, sh too long or too short. I don't know. Maybe my line needs to sit down a little more here. Yeah, we'll make it sit down a little more for that hardware that's right here. And just kind of laying out the area, I think maybe I need to bring some stuff in a little more, so maybe I'll move this over. Once again, I'm not erasing. I'm, I'm leaving things there as long as I can so that I can keep my, um, my stuff going here. Let's... Remember, wrong lines can help me find the right ones. And we'll make that connect right about there. All right, so I see I, you can see I, how I pulled that down. If I wanted to go erase some, I could, but I'm just not going to. I'm just going to keep keep drawing, making the lines bolder. Um, I feel like this whole thing's still a little crooked, so I'm just going to turn the whole thing by grabbing it and using Control T to rotate it and and there we go so that's all lined up let's see how that looks all right 
maybe a little fatter underneath here. All right, we finished our outline here. Now at this point, we need to start filling in some areas. I'm going to ignore bright highlights. I'm just going to kind of do some of these big shapes. So um, I might zoom in to do that. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And I'll zoom in on my other scoop as well. And see if I can get that about the same size here. All right, maybe a little smaller. All right, and now it's time to um, make this underpainting actually look more like a real underpainting. So I'm going to have some lines that go down like so and kind of curl. All right, I'm just looking for these things, okay, because there is no silver brush. And then maybe um, a little round thing here where it's warping something. I don't know what. And just keep that all dark. It's okay to have the things just extra dark. And then we have this round loop here. So let's make that. Once again, ignoring the, the light spot coming in. And now I need to paint some in those light spots. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a light gray. And I'm going to paint inside those. And maybe that's a little warmer, so we'll go ahead and make it a little warmer by selecting from the original picture. And um, let's see if we can do some more work over here, adding some of these little guys coming down and coming down. And I think all these are maybe a little too, too dark, so we'll just lighten them up a little bit. Just like so. And basically, I am going to continue this underpainting, moving around, making sure things are going. These little thin sliver of lines that represent like the thickness of the metal, okay, those thin slivers, we're going to hold off on those, okay, we're going to kind of ignore that they're there and just treat it like this, for example, this line isn't even there. And I'm going to continue painting here and uh, see if I can speed it up for you a little bit so you can see how it goes.